great peace. Reading from scripture, Psalm 119 verse 165. Great peace have those who love your law and nothing causes them to stumble. The verse for our meditation today speaks of one of the sure ways you and I can obtain peace. This verse not only pronounces the blessed peace, but it adds an adjective to intensify it. It says the great peace. That means exceeding, plentiful, abundant and vast. Those who have hearts that stand in awe of God's word have benefits. Let's look at what these benefits are. First of all, they are recipients of abundant peace. They are recipients of great peace. Peace comes to us when we love and meditate and obey God's word. Peace comes as a result of submitting to God's word and his will. Wanting and controlling our situations to be according to our own desires and will is sure to take us to a place of unrest and chaos. But praying in accordance to the will of God brings forth great peace. Consider Jesus who humbly prayed in agony at the Garden of Gethsemane and prayed for the will of the Father and not his own before he went to the cross. Obedience to God always brings forth peace and that too, peace in abundance. When we truly love God's law, both in word and in deed, we will have great peace in our heart, meaning we will not be troubled or thrown around by the conflicting philosophies of the world, nor even drawn to it. Because we live by a higher principle, we live by a, on a higher plane. We have the peace that cannot be understood or even explained. The promises that God offers in His Word is able to bring about every satisfaction to our soul and the peace that passes understanding. Another benefit of loving God's Word is that nothing will bring us to a state of offense or as it is said in other versions, it, they will not stumble. What does this mean? It means that no other doctrine or philosophy can have its hold on us. No other worldview can bring us to a place of falling from that of what God's word says. So nothing shall disturb our minds and break the peace. Nothing from outside, such as outward afflictions or the reproaches or the reproofs of men. The word of others or any other doctrines cannot really take away the light that is shining inside of us. Although things that cause us to stumble may come our way, it will not have the potency to shake us. For example, let's say if we, are, we struggle with a temptation or we face hard times and, and circumstances or if we are falsely accused in a relationship, we will not stumble. Instead, our response is one of love and faith because of the peace that reigns in our hearts. God's word has the power to give us the sense of tranquility that will not cause us to fall away by the pressures of the world. Instead, it makes our feet firm on the promises that God gives. Let's pray together. Father God, we thank you for your word that shows us that we will have great peace when we abide in your law, when we abide in your word. Lord, we ask that we will be diligent about understanding your word, so that through that we may be recipients of your abundant peace. Thank you for teaching us new truths each day. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.